Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Nesco Food and Jerky Dehydrator. Dehydrating food removes all the moisture out of the food so you can preserve it for a long period of time. The dehydrator includes five of these trays and you can dry fruits, vegetables and jerky using these trays. You can also buy additional trays like these if you're going to dry larger quantities of food. They just easily stack on the Nesco. The unit also comes with two solid sheets and these sheets are good for drying semi-liquids like soups and fruit roll-ups. These two mesh sheets are for drying herbs, spices, and potpourri. There are also three jerky spice and cure packets, so you can use this to make jerky. The Nesco comes with a recipe and instruction booklet. This gives you detailed instructions on how to dry your fruit, vegetables, and meat. These guidelines are really useful. It tells you how thick to slice your fruits and vegetables and how many hours the process will take. It also gives you suggestions on how to use your dried fruits and vegetables. It even gives you recipes on making treats for your pet using the dehydrator. The unit has 600 watts of power and a top mounted fan. The heat is distributed evenly and the dehydrator is very convenient because you don't have to rotate the trays like some other dehydrators. All you have to do is prep your produce or your meat, put it on the trays and check back within a couple of hours. So the only real work is prepping your produce. The top of the dehydrator has temperatures for drying fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, herbs and spices, jerky, meats and fish. And everything is very clear and easy to read. I'll show you how the dehydrator works by drying some different fruits and making fruit roll-ups. Fruit roll-ups or fruit leather is a way of drying out pureed fruit. You can use any fruit you'd like. Here I've sliced oranges very thinly and arranged them on a tray. Don't overlap any of the slices. They should be placed in a single layer. On the second tray, I've placed thinly sliced apples. Now after I slice the oranges, I squeeze the end pieces onto a large plate and I slice the apples and put them on the plate with the orange juice. Turn the slices over in the juice and put them on the tray. This will prevent the apples from discoloring. On the third tray, I have thinly sliced pineapple. On the fourth tray, I have thinly sliced bananas. The side with more bananas, I have dipped into orange juice. The other side, I have not dipped into any juice because I want to see how they'll be different when dry. I'll make fruit leather on my last tray. I've put a solid sheet on the tray. Here I have pureed fresh mango with just a little bit of water, enough to blend the mango. There's no added sweetness. I'll pour the puree onto the tray and spread it out evenly. I'll put the cover on and set the temperature at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll check back in a few hours. You can put your dried fruit in zip bags temporarily before moving them to a larger container that's airtight and moisture proof. Except for this tiny bit of dried fruit, the tray is clean. All the trays can be hand washed in warm soapy water. Cleanup is very quick. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you're making fruit leather, put a little bit of oil on your solid sheet before pouring on the puree. I forgot to do that on the tray before I put the pureed mango on it. Even though I didn't add the oil, the mango leather is still coming out pretty easily. Cut your mango leather into pieces and roll up in plastic wrap. These are the fruit roll-ups I made from the two medium-sized mangoes that I pureed. 
there were four. I ate one and it was really tasty. It just tasted like a really intense mango. Eating one of these dried fruit roll-ups is like eating half a mango. It's nutrient rich without any of the added artificial flavors or sweetness. I didn't add any sugar or honey to the fruit roll-ups. If the pureed fruit you're using is a little bit tart, you can add some honey for sweetness. Don't add any sugar because sugar can make your fruit roll-ups very brittle. Now fruit roll-ups should be chewy and flexible, not brittle like when you add sugar. These make really great snacks for adults and kids. You can take them as one big roll or just cut them into pieces using scissors. So these are my beautiful dried fruit. This is the orange. You can see it's dry completely. The orange slices are great for using as a flavoring in tea or even plain water. This is my pineapple. This is about one medium-sized pineapple. This is also nice and dry, and it's very chewy. And I love the pineapple because the flavor is so intense. The pineapple is my favorite of all the fruit that I've dried. These are my apples. This is about one and a half medium organic apples. The thin ones are more crispy. And the thicker slices are more chewy and flexible. You can make the slices thin or thick depending on how you like your snacks. The first batch of bananas I made into little circles. You can see the bananas are nice and dry and they're almost crispy. But if you want to get them very crispy, they're going to have to be de dehydrated for a very long time. This is after a whole 12 hours. So all the round pieces are from one banana. I sliced the second banana into thin strips and this is the result. It's nice and chewy. The flavor of the banana is also very intense and it's very sweet. The great thing about dried fruit is that you don't really need to add any sweetness to it. Now you can also dry vegetables like mushrooms and peppers and tomatoes and onions. The list is endless. A great gift idea is to put different vegetables in one of your mason jars. You can combine mushrooms or potatoes, carrots, um, onions, peppers, and it's going to be a good combo for a soup. You can put a nice label on it and put homemade vegetable soup. It's really a cute gift for your friends, or it's even great for yourself when you're sick and you don't really want to cook. You can just take the contents of your jar and add it to some boiled water and you have instant soup without any of the added chemicals or sodium or um, other flavorings that you wouldn't want. Another gift idea is to make dried potpourri and put it in a pretty jar. Put a nice label and a ribbon and you have a gift that's inexpensive and homemade and beautiful. And I think anybody would appreciate getting a jar of dried fruit that's homemade with nothing added. I'm sure they would appreciate that you took the time and effort to make this for them. Dried fruit can be very expensive at the store. So making all of these dried snacks yourself at home can save you a lot of money. If you bought this much organic apples dried at the store, it would cost you a lot of money. This is a great snack, especially for kids for school. You don't have to buy pre-packaged snacks that are artificial, that are not healthy. These are great and kids like them because they're very sweet. All of these dried snacks are nutrient rich and more importantly, taste really good. 
so I find the Nesco a really easy and convenient way to make dried food. The settings are very simple, very clear, very straightforward. You don't have to rotate any of the trays, so there's no checking back all the time. You just have to prep your produce, put it in here, and check back maybe in four hours, depending on what you're drying. Remember that drying is not an exact science. You will have to experiment a little bit and figure out also what you like. If you like thin slices or thick slices and um, how crispy they'll get depending on the amount of time that you've put them in the dehydrator. You can add lots of trays to this so you can dry a huge quantity of food. So if you would like to make healthy snacks for your kids or for yourself and dehydrate food for um, longer storage, this is a really good and uncomplicated device for your kitchen. I hope you found this review useful. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.